Hey there, aspiring crab farmers! Ready to explore the fascinating world of crab farming? We're diving into the essentials to kickstart your very own crab farming venture. We'll cover the A to Z of crab farming, from picking the perfect crab species, setting up your farm, maintaining the ideal water conditions, to the nitty-gritty of feeding and caring for your crabs. Plus, we've got expert tips to help you master the crab farming game. Whether you've got a pond, a tank, or a coastal area, crab farming is adaptable. And guess what? It pairs well with other aquaculture ventures too, like pond farming. Market demand and choices. Crab demand is skyrocketing globally. Fresh crabs, crab meat, crab cakes, you name it, the market wants it. This opens doors to a world of opportunity and profitability. Key crab types like mud crabs, blue crabs, and soft shell crabs each have their unique selling points. Each species has unique characteristics that make it valuable in its native habitat and beyond. Here's a discussion on some of these species. Horse crab, gazami crab, and Japanese blue crab. This species holds the title of the most widely fished crab globally, with over 300,000 tons caught annually. They are predominantly found in Asian waters, especially China. Its high catch volume underlines its significant role in the global seafood market, particularly in Asia. Flower crab, blue crab, or blue swimmer crab. Highly prized for their sweet meat, these crabs are commercially important in the Indo-Pacific region. They're a popular choice in many cuisines, contributing significantly to the seafood industry in these areas. Mud crab or mangrove crab, tasty and highly demanded in South Asian countries, significant in commercial farming. Snow crabs, spider crabs, encompassing snow crabs and spider crabs, this group lives in the cold waters of the Northern Pacific and Atlantic Ocean. These species are a focus of commercial fishing, with a range extending from the Arctic Ocean to California. Is crab hard to farm? The answer is actually yes, crab farming is challenging. Crabs take their sweet time to grow, need colder water, and require both aquatic and land habitats. They can even turn on each other when stressed. But remember, crab farming is still evolving, and there's plenty of room for innovation. So how do you start a crab farm? Before diving in, sort out your permits and licenses. These may include the following business permit and licenses, aquaculture permit, environmental permits, water usage and discharge permits, land use permits, health and safety permits, and many more. Check with your local and state government. Next is tackling the key elements needed for healthy crab growth. Whether you're a seasoned crab farmer or just starting out, these insights are crucial for a successful harvest. Water quality, the lifeline for your crabs. Crabs thrive in brackish water, but remember, each species has its own salinity. Sweet spot. The temperature also plays a big role. It's not just about keeping them cool or warm. It's about hitting that perfect range where their metabolism and growth are at their best. And let's not forget about pH levels and oxygenation. Moving on to their diet, it's all about balance. In the wild, crabs are like the ultimate foodies, munching on everything from algae to small fish. On your farm, it's a mix of natural and commercial feeds. The golden rule? Feed them daily about 5-10% of their body weight. And yes, Treat your crabs to some premium snacks like trash fish or clams, but avoid feeding them injured comrades. We're aiming for healthy growth, not a crabby hunger games. Next, let's talk about their home. Crabs don't just need water, they need a space that feels like their natural habitat. This means areas to hide, molt, and just be crabs. Cramped conditions can turn your crab farm into a battleground, so give them room to grow, literally and figuratively. Uh, molting, a crab's way of outgrowing its old self. This phase is crucial. It's when they're most vulnerable. So ensuring optimal conditions during molting isn't just good practice. It's like providing a safety net as they grow. Last but definitely not least, health management. Keep an eye out for any odd behavior or signs of illness. Good hygiene and vigilant water quality management are your best defenses against diseases. Remember, a healthy crab is a happy crab. So setting up the right infrastructure and having the essential equipment are key to a thriving crab farm. Whether you're eyeing a traditional spread or a cutting edge vertical setup, here are the essential equipment for crab farming. One, ponds and tanks. These are your crab's new homes. Outdoor ponds are great for traditional farming, while indoor tanks suit controlled environments. Remember, space and design matter for healthy crab growth. Two, aeration systems. Crabs need well oxygenated water. Equip your farm with reliable aerators like paddle wheel aerators to keep that oxygen flowing. Three, water quality management. This is non-negotiable. You'll need mechanical and biological filters, UV sterilizers, and perhaps chemical treatment systems to keep the water pristine. Four, testing kits. Stay on top of water quality with regular tests, pH, salinity, dissolved oxygen. 
Monitor these closely with quality testing kits. 5. Feeding Equipment Automated or manual, your feeding system should distribute food evenly and efficiently. This ensures all your crabs get their fair share. 6. Crab Handling Tools Crab traps, nets, and handling equipment are essential for routine management and harvesting. 7. Climate Control If you're in a region with fluctuating temperatures, heaters or chillers are a must. Crabs are sensitive to temperature changes, so keeping the water at just the right temperature is crucial. 8. Habitat Enrichment Crabs need hiding spots to reduce stress and cannibalism. PVC pipes or shelters in the water can mimic natural environments and keep your crabs happy. 9. Breeding and Rearing Equipment You'll need specialized hatchery equipment like incubators and larval rearing tanks. 10. Safety and Maintenance Gear Gloves, boots, and other protective equipment will keep you safe. Also, invest in disinfection and cleaning tools to maintain hygiene in the farm. 11. Backup Power Supply Power outages? No problem. A backup power supply ensures your critical systems like aeration and filtration keep running. 12. Transportation and Storage Ready to take your crabs to market? You'll need safe transportation containers and water storage tanks to manage the logistics seamlessly. If you're going vertical crab farming, think stackable crab trays, an efficient recirculating aquaculture system, RAS for water conservation, and advanced monitoring. A vertical crab farm with a recirculating aquaculture system is a sophisticated and efficient approach to aquaculture that maximizes space utilization and environmental control. Let's first discuss the layout and appearance of a vertical crab farm RAS facility. One, multi-level structure. The farm is characterized by its vertical design, often consisting of several stacked layers. These layers house individual crab containers or trays, optimizing space in a smaller footprint compared to traditional horizontal layouts. Two, crab trays containers. Each level of the structure holds trays or containers designed for crab habitation. These are engineered for easy access for feeding, health checks, and harvesting. They also ensure proper water circulation and provide an environment conducive to the crab's natural behaviors. 3. Centralized Control Center The facility typically includes a control center equipped with monitors and control systems. This is where water quality, temperature, humidity, and other environmental parameters are managed. 4. RAS Components Visible throughout the facility are the components of the RAS, including pipes, filters, pumps, and oxygenation systems. These systems are often compact and integrated into the structure to save space and maintain efficiency. Here's how the RAS works in a vertical crab farm. 1. Water Circulation Water in crab trays is continuously circulated through the RAS. This system filters and purifies the water before returning it to the crab habitats, significantly reducing the overall water consumption. 2. Filtration system The RAS includes mechanical filters to remove solid waste and biological filters to break down harmful ammonia and nitrites. UV sterilizers are often used to eliminate pathogens and maintain water quality. 3. Oxygenation The system ensures adequate dissolved oxygen levels in the water. This is crucial for the crab's respiratory needs and overall health. Oxygen levels are carefully monitored and adjusted as needed. 4. Temperature and Salinity Control The RAS allows precise control over water temperature and salinity, which are critical for optimal crab growth and health. This is especially important for species with specific habitat requirements. 5. Waste Management The system efficiently handles waste products, like uneaten food and crab excrement, reducing the risk of disease and pollution. This is done through sedimentation tanks, biofilters, and sometimes additional chemical treatment. 6. Monitoring and Automation 
Advanced sensors and automation technology enable real-time monitoring and adjustment of various parameters like pH, salinity, temperature, and dissolved oxygen. This ensures stable and optimal conditions for the crabs. 7. Biosecurity A closed RAS system offers enhanced biosecurity, reducing the risk of disease introduction and spread. Quarantine protocols and regular health checks are easier to manage in such controlled environments. A vertical RAS farming system is advantageous in many ways. The first is space efficiency. A vertical crab farming method maximizes use of available space, ideal for urban or industrial settings. Another important benefit is environmental control. As mentioned earlier, crabs are very territorial and may often resort to cannibalistic behaviors. A RAS system provides stable and controlled conditions, enhancing crab health and growth rates. This system can also reduce water and energy usage and is very scalable since it is easier to scale up production by adding more levels or units. There you go, everything you need to start a crab farm. If you want a detailed discussion on how to start your own profitable crab farming venture, we've placed a link down in the description. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out our other videos on how to manufacture your own products and sell them for profit. We have tutorials and guides that can help you increase your efficiency, reduce costs, and improve the quality of your product. Thanks for watching.